You're listening to the Voice of Your Brand podcast, episode 16. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you why starting a podcast could be the best way to get visible. That's coming up next. Ready to go behind the scenes and learn what it really takes to stand out as the voice of your brand? I'm Katherine Beck, voice actor and voice coach. And after 20 years of being the voice of other brands, I'm here to show you how your voice is your most powerful tool to creating the impact, influence, and income you desire. The world is your global stage. So get ready to up-level your voice and your personal brand. This is the Voice of Your Brand podcast. We will get started with today's show in just a minute. But first, I want to thank Tessa Marshall, who sent me this five-star review and says, There is always so much to learn from Catherine. Her valuable insights and tips are always appreciated. Highly recommend tuning into her podcast if you are wanting to get the most out of your voice. Thank you so much, Tessa, for this beautiful review and for tuning in to both of my podcasts. I really appreciate your kind words, and I am thrilled to share my insights and tips with you. And hey, if you are out there and you're loving this podcast and you have not yet left us a review, make sure you head over to Apple Podcasts, click those five stars, leave a brief review, and you'll get a chance to be featured on this show as well. So if you're loving this episode, go ahead and leave us a review. All right, let's talk visibility. And if you have been struggling with getting seen and getting heard, well, maybe a podcast is for you. And I'm going to share with you why I chose a podcast to get visible. So here's the thing about visibility. It is one of the best ways to build a personal brand. And here's the thing is you can be as visible as you want to. And for me, that's been the key. Because I remember when I first put myself out there on the internet to build my brand, I really resisted because I've always been a person that likes my talent. I like being talented and having a skill and something that I'm really good at. But I like for my talent and my expertise to speak for itself, meaning I don't like to feel like I have to prove myself to anyone. Can you relate? Are you anywhere similar to how I am? It's the need to prove. And just saying that now, I just, the light bulb clicked in my head that, oh, maybe that's why I've resisted for so long because I looked at it as a need to prove instead of perhaps reframing it in a way that could be a little bit more positive. I digress a little bit, but I think this is relevant to what we are talking about. See, when I was a young actor, I moved away from being an actor or from acting being my career because the business side of acting took away from the outlet of creative expression, the love for acting. Acting was like my therapy, and it was a way for me to have a voice and I felt like the business side of things really changed that for me. So what did I do? I went into coaching. I wanted to serve others. I wanted to share my skills. I wanted to be behind the scenes instead of in front of the scenes. Ah, but here's the thing. To be a coach, to be an online business is to be a personal brand. And to be a personal brand is to put yourself out there and to show people what your brand is all about. So I couldn't be behind the scenes. I had to be in front of the scenes. The thing that I was running away from was now back. I couldn't escape it. Visibility. And I realized that this thing that scared me years ago was the very thing that freaks me out even to this day. And even on this podcast, because I think I just worked out for myself. This is like therapy for me. That it's this need to prove myself, to prove my talent, my expertise that I don't like. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that gives me so much to work with. All right. So if you are anything like me, there could be a hesitation or your own underlying fear or belief revolved around judgment or what others might 
think of you or say about you? Will they like you? Will they make fun of you? I don't know. We all have different things that get in the way, right? But if you're anything like me, you may have held back so many times where you could have been creating content or going live with your audience, maybe on Instagram or posting something, anything, because it was safer not to post anything. But is being safe really the best option when you're a personal brand and you need to build your brand, build your audience so you can build your business because you need to be visible? So what if we could look at visibility differently? What if we could be visible on our own terms? Meaning that we don't have to feel like we have to do all the things just because people say we need to do X, Y, and Z to be visible, right? What if we do what makes us feel comfortable in being visible and showing up? And so that is what I did. That's where the switch started to shift for me is when I started my own podcast. Now, don't get me wrong, because with the podcast, starting the podcast, I resisted that as well. I had it on the back burner for a good two years or so. People were saying, you should have a podcast. And I was like, really? Uh, I don't know. I came up with so many reasons and excuses why I should not start the podcast or why it just wasn't the right time. And finally, I gave in and I just set a date. And once I put something in the calendar, that's it. I commit. doesn't matter like what's going on in the old head. I commit to that date. So. Was I afraid of starting it? Yes, of course. But the moment that I pressed publish and the episodes were out there on the airwaves, I was okay. And now I love it. In fact, it's one of my joys being in front of the microphone, being able to inspire and share and impact others through a podcast. So if you're hesitant to be visible, just like me, might I recommend a podcast? Because a podcast, you can be as visible or as non-visible as you want, meaning that you can add video or not add video. You can repurpose to social media or not repurpose. But here is why a podcast is so great for visibility, for building your brand. One, It builds credibility and authority like nothing I have ever done in my business. I can't tell you how many times I have heard from people reaching out to me because they heard me on the podcast. There is a sense of authority and knowledge and expertise that people receive from you when you have your own podcast even more than when you speak on other people's podcasts. That's great. And that's very important too, but it's different when you have your own. Also because of this, number two, it helps build an authentic relationship with people. They get to know the authentic side of you, the real you. They get to know a little bit of your vulnerabilities, your personality the way you relate to other people, there is a true connection that happens when you authentically show up in your podcast. And people love that. They love seeing that non-business side of you. They love the fact that they feel like they're having a conversation with you. They love the fact that they're really getting to know you. It feels way more personal than when we show up on social media. Number three, It's easy to build a community of loyal listeners who are excited to tune in and listen to you every single time you publish a new podcast episode. In fact, they are waiting for that next episode. They can't wait to hear what's happening next week and the week after that. That is powerful. And that's what you want. You want that sense of community. You want that sense of loyalty. That's about nurturing and building that relationship, that connection that you now have with your audience. And number four, and this is the cool thing about a podcast, is you are literally inside your ideal customer's ears. You are in their head. And this is why a podcast is so cool. And video is great. And that's something you should be doing as well. But you can't watch a video when you're driving in the car. 
And how often are you in the car? How often are you stuck in traffic? I catch up on my podcasts when I'm in the car. I listen to a podcast. And that's how I get to know some of my favorite podcasters is when I'm in the car or if I'm on a walk, right? Another place where really, if you're going on a walk, chances are you're not going to be watching a video on your phone. I mean, you can, but part of a walk for me is getting fresh air and being away from a screen and enjoying the view that's in front of me. I mean, I'm fortunate that I live in an area that's got amazing views. So it's really great to walk in my neighborhood. But while I'm walking, sometimes it's really great to have a a podcast going on at the same time. Gets me thinking. It inspires me. So those are the four reasons why I think a podcast is a fantastic way of being more visible and being visible on your terms. So if I were you, I would definitely consider a podcast if you don't yet have one. Because I know for me, it's the best thing I've done for my business. And that's why I've got two podcasts. Yes, that's right. I was not satisfied with one podcast. So now I have two. (laughs) And when you look at the top podcasters around, they have built successful businesses, successful brands around their podcast. And the podcast has become a great way for them to monetize. And it's a great way for you to monetize too. Now, if you're thinking, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I am going to start my own podcast. I am ready. You've sold me on a podcast. I'm ready to be more visible through a podcast. Well, might I recommend my pal Courtney Elmer's workshop? It's free. It's all about starting your own podcast. I will leave the link in the show notes for you. I highly recommend it. She is a woman that showed me how to launch a top ranked podcast. Not just top ranked, number one. So I would definitely recommend it. And I will link that up in the show notes for you. Now coming up next week on the show, we're going to be talking about the biggest mistakes to avoid when launching a podcast. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember to share this show with all your friends, invite them to tune in with you and learn how to be the voice of your brand. Until then, go on, get out there and share your voice with the world. And I'll see you back here next time.